Hi everyone! Let's learn how to tell the time. Let's get started. The little hand on our clock tells us the hour, which are the big numbers you see here. And our big hand tells us the minutes. The minutes on our clock go up in fives, like this. Now, can you help me put the correct numbers back on our clock? Let's look for 12. Here it is. Let's move the hands to show it's 12 o'clock. When the big hand points to 12, we say it's o'clock. And our little hand is also pointing to 12, meaning it's 12 o'clock. We will do the same for the next number, which is 1. Let's move the little hand to 1 and the big hand to 12. We learned if our big hand is pointing to 12, it is o'clock. So now, it is 1 o'clock. Easy, right? We're getting it. Let's do the same for the rest of our numbers. Here we have 2. Let's move the hands to 2 o'clock. Now for 3. Here it is. Let's move our hands to three o'clock. Can you help me find the rest of the numbers all on your own? Our clock is complete. High five. Now let's practice. The little hand is on one and the big hand is on three. So it's 1.15 or we say quarter past one. Next up, our little hand is on nine and our big hand is on six, meaning it's 9.30 or half past nine. You're really getting the hang of this. Last one, this one's a little tricky. Our big hand is in between two numbers, four and five. When this happens, the hour will always be the earlier number, so it is four o'clock. The big hand is on nine, so it's 4.45, or we say quarter to five. Well done, today we learned the little hand shows the hours, the big hand shows the minutes. This is quarter past. This is half past. And this is quarter two. Well done, you learn how to tell the time. Yay!